Oh, hello. How's it going? This is Lucy. This is a flashlight. So, um, I have a bunch of flashlights here. It's me, uh, this Jackery, and, uh, yeah, these flashlights. So... This is a basic flashlight. And this is Lucy. Hey, Lucy. <laughs> And uh, this is an Everbright. You can get these on Amazon for dirt cheap. And then we have the Maglite. Actually, we have the Maglite. So funny thing is I went to Amazon and I was like, I need a Maglite flashlight. So I ordered one thinking I got this size and this size showed up. And I'm like, I'm not really a police officer or anything. I mean, you know what I mean? It's huge. Anyway, okay, I gotta go find uh I gotta go find a, a clippy thing, scissors. And I'm adding the cooler cause if I bought a trash bag out here, it's windy. I don't know how much you can hear the wind, but it's decently significant out here. And when I unbox these things, um, little plastic's gonna start flying. Don't judge my scissors. These are off the counter. <laughs> what would be sad is if there's like no batteries included in this thing and... <laughs> Fact. There's no... What kind of... Three cell D. Who uses D cell batteries anyways? All right, I gotta go find batteries. I'll be right back. I just gotta go find batteries for this. Yes. So it's literally a Christmas miracle they had D-cell batteries here. Also the lens is dirty, give me a sec. If you use Zeiss wipes, super good. Best thing for cleaning off camera lenses. Work for glasses, they work for, I don't know, screens, LCD screens, stuff like that. Again, who uses D cell batteries? Do 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 do. All right, let's see how this goes. Three, three E. I'm sure, there's a pain loading them though. So I'm surprised that these don't run on like double A batteries. Yeah, that's a bright light. I think the flashlight and flashlight reviews is like every time somebody turns on the light. The camera readjusts, and you can't tell how bright it is. But against the wall right now, here we go. That's bright. I don't know what that is. But we're going to see how this looks at night. Also, like, yeah, this feels like a weapon. Ah! <laughs> don't do that, kids. Now I got purple spots. Next flashlight up. This. I remember these growing up because um, or my dad kept these, one of these above the thermostat. I'm pretty sure it was incandescent and he would use it to shine it on the thermostat when he would adjust it. Now there's all these smart things. They have smart things. You just tell a hey, you know, I need the temperature at 70 and it'll just do its thing. But um, this is the old gold standard. You probably have your opinions about flashlights. You might not have any opinions of flashlights, even after watching this video. The nice thing about this one, actually I got these, these ones at REI. Just, I mean, you can get on Amazon, but I got these at REI. If you remember, you get points at the end of the year, sort of, I guess, so. Whatever, these came with batteries. Unlike that one, I got this one off Amazon. And again, I thought it was this size, so I was shocked when I got a box the size of it did. And when I opened it, I was like, oops. And I would have been even more heartbroken if I realized that this had D-cell batteries. But at least I was in a place where there were D-cell batteries available. So this is the Maglite, mini Maglite, super bright xenon lamp. That's not LED. And it says 14 lumens. 14 lumens, okay. This was 168. This was I have no idea. And this 
says 14 lumens. <laughs> yep, nope, this is what I remember from my childhood. It's a little incandescent light. It's not LED. Uh, it's a xenon light, but it's, you know, your amber colored xenon lights. And this is such a blast from the past. I just love it. If you want retro vibes or amber lights, amber, well, I'm talking like not this bluishness. You got it for 14 lumens. And then there's this one. This one is a beast, I guess. I don't know. This is 332 lumens. That means this is more powerful than this. Well, I guess we'll have to see. <laughs> this is called the Mini Maglite Pro LED. Size difference, there you go. So this is the old standard, this blue one. This is the Mini Maglite Pro LED. Very similar. Similar, this seems a little slender, but a little longer. Almost the same size. And you can see the bezels, just a little bit different. Just so you know, it's like probably an hour before sunset here. Uh, and it's cloudy and overcast, so. Standard lighting. This is a totally different light. It's super bright. Uh, so, side by side, this here is this, right? The, the big, the big D-cell battery flashlight. And this is the little red Mini Maglite Pro. This here shines bright. This here shines that. Which is brighter? The color tones are a little different. They're both LED, but it's just different. I mean, if I was gonna go with one or the other, I'd go with this, because it's smaller. D-cell batteries, like, really? So now we're doing this. Yeah, you can barely see that, but you can see it. Probably be see better at night. And then there you see this glorious red beam. However, so what happens if we go this super light ever light? Okay, that's the beam. Felt bright at night, and then we got this one. There's no comparison. So, this is still a pretty good light, and it's red, which is awesome. Now we're moving on to the biggies. The biggies. This is a Fenix light. This is a PD-36R. I actually got this as a two-pack. It's a two-pack, so this is the PD-36R, and it says max 1,600 lumens. That's a lot of lumens. And then it has this EO-1, which, I mean, is small and cute. But we'll have to test it. Also, this is supposedly, like, USB rechargeable, so... Hope I don't have to, like, reset and do this again tomorrow, because if this isn't charged out of the box, I'm toast. So I've been running it f 2.8 60 frames a second uh, iso 200 as it gets a little darker i might have to change that up a little bit Let's see what we got here dead as a doornail sad face but we can check it without the little guy while we charge it and that is exactly why i brought out the jackery power supply so <laughs> While I'm testing out these other guys, I'm gonna charge this up. Hopefully this works. How do you even... This is so small. This is the Phoenix EO1. I wanna say EIEIO, but it's EO1. And it's literally barely bigger than this. This is the cutest thing ever. Like, I had a Phoenix light once. It's also very... That doesn't feel like 100 lumens. I can't even see that showing up. That might show up at night, but that's not showing up right now. Okay, disappointment. That's why it wasn't charging. Okay, read the instructions, Peter. There was a little remove before use type thing. Okay, now let's see what the PD36R does. Wow, that's surprisingly disappointing. <laughs> Okay, that's brighter, brighter, brighter. Okay, 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 that's bright. <laughs> cool. You can see here, it, uh, kind of 13, 13 watts, 11 watts. 
So there's like an on-off switch here, and then this kind of toggles through the light mode. So right, that's light mode one, two, three, four, five, five modes, right? Okay. So back to mode one. Turning this off. Turning this on. Lights on. Mode one. Mode two. Mode three. Mode four. Mode five. That's, that's, that's real bright. Nice, okay. So, uh, this is definitely brighter than this. And like, we're talking about size. There's not a whole lot of difference. Yes, this is thicker and bigger. Bezel's a little bit more similar. But if you're gonna take this, you might as well take this, right? It's the Peter Dovsteak 36R. I mean, that one says it can do 1600, what, right? But this one, it says 12,000 lumens. And it, it costs, uh, <coughs> y'all, check this out. It's empty. <laughs> but this, this is a royal beast. This is a massive flashlight. And no, I'm not pointing it at my face. This has a holster. I don't know, like, if you're gonna wear this on your belt, you better be wearing suspenders. This is no ordinary flashlight. However, it reminds me of <laughs> this. It reminds me of this. Do I want this still? <laughs> D-cell batteries, are you kidding me? This is a beast. Also, it says, uh, caution, do not shine the flashlight into inflammable materials for a long time because of its extremely high output. Mm. Shouldn't it say flammable? Please remove, ensure the insulation sheet as, yeah, I'm learning that. With the Fenix lights, you gotta kind of figure out how to open them and then take the thing out. So just like twist them open. Also, I'm wondering how many, oh, taking the little plastic paper out. This is out. This is this, this is this. What's in here? Uh, a battery that could probably charge your car. I don't know. Also, not to throw caution to the wind because I'm not littering or anything, but I'm taking this off. So, there's two modes on this, and I have no idea what either one of them does. Would I carry this with me everywhere? No. That's what the PD36R is for. Or the Mini Maglite. Just a second. It's just a second. I don't remember. Maglite Pro LED. That's okay. All right. USB cable port. Whoa. That's a decent. That's a, like a full-on USB. All right. Here we go. Prepare to be dazzled. Woof. Ha. Huh. Okay, that's bright. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this. Just kidding. Watch this. Hey, where could they be? Hmm. I don't know. Okay, that's that doesn't even compare, y'all. Cool thing is you can have a, a sticky pointy light so you can be like, oh, I have a mag light too. Just kidding. Let's go find them. So I guess like, is this hot? I've been trying to, you know, keep my hands warm out here. It's cold, right? Give me a second. Also, ow. That's incredible. Uh, is that all? Yeah, I mean, that's all. Am I disappointed? <laughs> no. Also, my light's fading, which is great because it's almost nighttime. I'm just so enamored by this thing. Like, where did I go? Oh, I don't know. Behind the light blanket, maybe? So just for the sake of losing light, I've bumped it to 400 ISO now. Um, and as you can see, I'm at like one bar right now. So now I'm gonna um, plug it into the Jackery and we'll see how much of a power draw that is. So we're at 11 watts of the P36R. Gotta find a charging cable in here. Gonna plug this in right here. We're 10 watts. And we're going to 17 watts. 18 watts. Don't tell me this only draws like seven watts. I'm pulling this out. So this is the beast and we're, we're only drawing nine watts. So the PD36R is drawing 11 watts. This is drawing nine watts. This is probably gonna take forever to charge, but I'm gonna uh, do it so it was a one bar. I'm gonna set timer now. We're gonna see how long it takes to charge. <laughs> yeah, same timer. My phone also needs to be charged. And so does my soul. Okay, so I've unplugged this P36R. 
Uh, the LR40R is still plugged in. It still says it's charging, but it's only drawing one watt at this point. And for both flashlights, it's only dropped at 10% on the 500 uh, Jackery. So, is this really charged yet? Probably is. It's probably just topping off. It's raining outside, so I'm maybe going to test these tomorrow night? Tomorrow morning? I don't know. So, fun story. I was about to go to bed, and then I was like, oh, I'm going to check on the charger, and then the charger's like almost charged. And then I started playing with the flashlights, and I'm like, I'm going to film this because this is pretty cool. So, I don't know how this is going to show up on the camera. So, this is the illumination from the house. And here we have, you know, the little mini mag light. And that's what you see. I don't think you can really see the woods nearby, but you can see. Uh, also, it's super windy, so if you hear the wind, sorry about that. Uh, next thing we got is the little turquoise Everbright thing. And uh, again, we see a little bit more here. And you can see it's trying to wander for focus, but just have to do. I'm gonna hold the focus here. Very windy. Now I'm going with the mini, uh, and now you, you can start seeing in the distance uh, what's behind the bird feeder. And there's some trees over there, decent ways away. Now compare that to this is the official mag light. And they're comparable. One is more pointed. I'm, I'm gonna say the, the big guy is a lot more pointed. And up close it's, you can see the, you can, you can point the LED one a little more, but it seems like the mag light's still doing better. All right, now check out the Fenix. So this is the PD36R. We are at, I'm not, this might be mode one, two, three, four, and five. We are getting to see a whole lot more. Then we have this. So we got this super focused beam using the right button on the Fenix LR40R. And then we have mode one, two, three, and four, and five of the Fenix LR40R. And believe me, it is incredible. At this point, I'm kind of eliminating the bottom bracket, but you can kind of see, this is the mini mag light. You can see my hand in there. There's a mulberry tree over here. There's a pine tree over here. There's a pond in the distance, and you can't really see it, but I'm gonna try, okay, right? But this is the big mag light, and out here is a pond. I'm telling you there's a pond. And then here's a pine tree over here, birdhouse. Now we'll go with the small PD36R, and we, I believe, are at mode one. Mode two. Mode three, mode four. Now I think you're starting to see a little bit more out there. And there is the pine tree. And it's starting to rain, so I'm gonna try and make this quick, but here we go. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. And now, you can see the pond, you can see the mulberry tree, you can see the pine tree in all its glory. And now it's raining, so I'm gonna go inside. You see that, the pond out there? Oh, that wasn't the brightest. This is the brightest. <laughs> it's just incredible. If there was a coyote out there or a deer, and you would see it like nothing else. 
cool. And it's ne next day, so. <clears throat> now we have a little experiment here. Do I have an egg here? And this little aluminum thing. Got some oil. And I got my 12,000 lumen flashlight. Now let's try and fry an egg. Uh, I don't know if I should put oil with it, so I'm not gonna right yet, but I brought it in case. I also need to put on sunglasses because it's gonna be bright. What I'm curious is about the label that says it's, it gets really hot, right? And it's 30 degrees outside. I'm not sure how this is gonna work, but here we go. Um, the problem here is the the flashlight itself is getting extremely hot, and so I'm not sure how much longer I can hold it. That being said, it's cold, so I might just rotate hands. Here we go. Not cooked at all. So after a couple of minutes, like, that's not working out, so... It's been around four minutes. Um, so, this is very hot. Uh, and the cool thing is my hands are cold. <laughs> it's snowing and I'm trying to warm my hands and the birds at the bird feeder are like, what can we eat? Bird feeder's like right over there. Um, by the time this is ready, I'm gonna probably accumulate snow on my head. <sighs> well, that would be a negative. Just like me. Oh, this feels so warm. I love it. Also, ouch. Sad face. Uh, if you want to sponsor me to get like a more powerful flashlight, you can buy shirts. <laughs> Sorry. One more thing I'm trying is win glass with olive oil. I'm gonna dial this down here. That's not creepy at all. So we're back after like five minutes and literally nothing so one thing that's interesting after leaving that for five minutes with this on top is uh, looks a little smoked in here uh i don't know if that's condensation because it's like super wet and cold out here or what but look at me ruining flashlights out here failed experiment but my hands are warm because <laughs> so uh, it's nice um on that note, uh, I'm going to show you like one more outside test. I'm going to go inside because it's cold. And, uh, so here's something I didn't talk about. Distance. I'm not really sure the distance of that, but it's a good few hundred yards. Yeah, now you can see the pond and what it was illuminating uh, last night. Measuring. I probably need a rangefinder. You know, the iPhone light is uh, 10 lumens, right? Okay. Also, you know if you press and hold uh, this, it gives you options of brightness. So, last test, I'm going to go out on this uh, straight stretch of driveway in the woods and compare it to headlights because, I mean, that's a good comparison, right? I'm having fun. Are you having fun? Oh. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever. Here we have uh, low beams. And this is what low beams on the 2016 Hyundai Sonata Hybrid Limited look like. So, I mean, they're sort of bluish, whether they're xenons, I don't really know. But here, this is the little mini mag light pro thing this is the led mag light that made it this far so that's pretty cool okay and then now we are going to use the bigger mag light that i thought was the mini mag light and you know that's such and just so you know we are at uh 2.8 F2.8, 60 frames a second, and 1600 ISO. And here we go on the PD36R. Um, this is the first light pattern. One, two, 
three, four, five. So that gives you an idea, all right? And this is with low beams. And now for the final blast. Can you see me? Next up, we got the LR40R. Okay, so this is low on the wide ring. That's the wide ring. This is mode one. Two, three, four, five. That's pretty cool. Okay, now we're gonna add um, one, two, three, four. And guess who's gonna show up here? Hey, Lucy. Hey, Lucy. She's like, what are you doing out here? It's nighttime. Yeah, it's nighttime, all right. Just testing lights. Okay, so uh, let me reset this for high beams comparison with the car. So uh, now you have the high beams, high beams, high beams, low beams, high beams, low beams, high beams. All right, we're going to start off again with this wonderful thing. Uh, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, you can see it illuminating stuff. A little bit, right? Then we got the Phoenix PD 36R. Uh -huh. And this is mode one. You can barely see it. Mode two. Mode three. Getting there. Mode four. And mode five. Hello. I'm seeing all the way down around that, almost around that corner. Two is comparable to the mag light, the, the mini one, you know. And then we got, of course, this beast, the mistake of a buy, at least in my book, because who uses these batteries? These batteries are like almost as big, huh? pretty much the same size as those other flashlights. If you want a pointy beam, get this over the mini mag light, because it's kind of pointy. Again, remember, we are in high beams, so. There's that. And now for the grandest and funnest, most fun, funnestest, Phoenix LR40R. Dun, dun. This is the low beam on the Phoenix mode one, mode two, mode three, mode four, mode five. Yeah, it's a lot. Take that down, turn that off. Now, for the second button on this other side, this is mode one, mode two. Now we're mode three. This is looking more like the mag light. Me, I can't tell if it's the first, second or third, but mode four. That button has four modes. So again, this is mode one, mode two, mode three, mode four. And this is mode one compared with the mag light. So mode one doesn't compete. Mode two, I don't know, almost competes. Mode three definitely competes. And mode four uh, knocks the mag light off the spectrum. And then like, then that's just overkill. Mode one, mode two. Mode three, mode four, mode five. That's adding in the left hand button there. And I dropped it down to ISO 800 and I don't know if this is gonna work, but <clears throat> it's probably still too bright. Maybe if I get down here, is that cool? It's bright. That's very bright, ow. But it's not ow like that. All right, so thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. I was curious about these Phoenix lights for a while, so I'll kind of do this video. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, if you want to sponsor me for an Immolent or some other crazy light, let me know. We'll compare that to this. But that's all pretty much. Uh, glad you could join me. It's cool like there's no moose coming up or something behind me because that would be a creepy ending because you'd see it. Well, actually, maybe not because I wouldn't edit it then. I wouldn't know. But you'd have the footage somewhere to archive.
Lucy, hey Lucy. Hey, who's a good girl? Yeah. And yes, I have it on low beams. Who's a good girl? Boom boom. Vroom vroom. Vroom 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 vroom. Homity home.